Locational fits are designed for parts which are typically stationary but require assembly and disassembly with ease. As the name implies, they are used when location of parts is the primary concern. These include assemblies which require snug, accurately locating parts such as a dowel pin, to medium clearances such as piping, and to looser mating parts where the ease of assembly is the main concern such as fasteners. Locational fits are not intended for running machinery but are often used for pins, bushings, bearings, exchangeable components, bolts, retaining rings, rivets, and many other applications. There are three types of locational fits. Clearance, known as LC, transitional, known as LT, and interference, known as LN. The LC, or locational clearance fits, have classes 1 through to 11, with the class 1 fits being the tightest fits and class 11 being the loosest fit, having the greatest amount of clearance. LC1 and 2 fits are used when parts require precise guiding or centering. Unlike the RC fits, the LC fit could have the shaft and hole the same size. LC fits also allow a more accurate shaft location than RC fits. Locational transition fits, LT, are intended as a compromise where a small amount of clearance or interference is acceptable in the assembly while maintaining an accurate location. There are six classes of these fits. Locational interference, LN fits, are employed when a rigid, accurate location of parts is the main concern. There are three classes of these fits. They are not meant to be used where there might be bore pressure or the transmission of a frictional load due to the tightness of the interference. For such conditions, the force fits should be used. These will be discussed in the next video. The drill jig shown here is a typical design where these type of fits could be used. For example, if 3 8 dowel pins were used to locate the side plate to the base plate, I would like the dowels to be a light press fit into one plate and a light slide fit into the other. This will ensure the dowels do not fall out during handling and allow for ease of disassembly. When deciding what fit to use, I need to consider how the holes will be machined. Typically, a dowel hole is machined to its final size with a reamer. Standard inch reamers come in three common options, undersize, onsize, and oversize. In the case of a 3 8 reamer, the undersize is 0.3745, the onsize tool is 0.375, and the oversize is 0.3755. For the slide fit hole, the 0.3755 reamer would be used and the 0.3745 for the press fit hole. To find the most suitable tolerance for the slide fit hole, I would first start with the LC chart. As with all of these charts, I first follow the nominal size column down until I find the range for 3 8 in this case the 0.24 to 0.4 row. Next, I want to find a suitable tolerance which will allow the use of the 0.3755 reamer, keeping in mind that if the spindle or tool runs out, it may cut slightly oversize. The LC1 clearance will only allow a maximum hole size of 0.3754. This would force me to use the on-size reamer. Remember, the tolerance values in the charts are in thousands of an inch, therefore 0.4 equals 0.0004. The LC2 fit will allow a maximum hole size of 0.3756 and will be an acceptable tolerance. The LC3 would allow a maximum hole size of 0.3759, which is also acceptable but is bordering on being too large of a tolerance. The hole call up on the drawing would look like this. Again, the LC2 does not appear in the drawing, the H7 does, and the capital letter is used to denote a hole. For the hole requiring the press fit, I would employ the shaft base fit system and select the LC3S, making the maximum hole size 0.3750 and the minimum 0.3744.